Okay, so in the last video, we looked at inverse square law, uh, where basically we said that the illuminance on a surface, so in this case we have a table, or a, it could be a floor, which is 4 metres, and 4 metres from the surface suspended is a 600 candela lamp, the candela being the luminous intensity. And what we said was the illuminance at A, using the inverse square law, is I over d squared so in this case i the candela of the light is 600 remember you can get that information from manufacturer's data and the distance is four squared so that's going to be four squared so that's going to be 16. so the illuminance at that point simple calculation 600 divided by 16 is 37.5 lux yeah okay remember that 0.25 lux is moonlight so that is how we work out at point A. Now point B, this is where the cosine square law comes in because at point B we have an angle. So what we're interested in here is we're interested in this distance from there. That's supposed to be a straight line, that distance. And I'm going to call that distance there D2. So using Pythagoras, obviously if we draw an angle, that's the cosine angle there. Yeah. So going our trig days, 90 degrees there, perpendicular. That side is facing the angle, so that's the opposite side, up. That's the hypotenuse, and that's the adjacent side. Yeah, okay. So quite simply, to work out the formula for this, E is I over... In this case, it's going to be d2 squared times the cosine. Yeah. So that's going to be, in this case, so e, 600. The distance, we need to work d2 out. All right. So let's work out d2. So we'll do d2 over here. So d2 is, so Pythagoras, yeah, 3 squared plus 4 squared, square rooted, is 5 metres. So in this case, that's going to be 5 squared times the cosine. Now the cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So cos, we know, is adjacent. The cosine factor of the angle. In this case, what's the adjacent side? It's 4. 4 divided by, just worked out the hypotenuse, which is 5. So 4 over 5, which is 0 0.8. So let's put that into our math. So 600. Done the calculation, 19.2 lux. So just to recap, so it's still I over D squared, but this time we're using the distance is, for point B is this distance, it's the hypotenuse, right angle triangle. So it's 600 divided by 5 squared, because it's d, d squared, yeah, times the cosine factor, which is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, which is 4 over 5. So 600 divided by 25 is 24, yeah, times that by 0 0.8, which is 4 over 5, 0.8 comes to 19.2 looks. So that shows you the, the further the angle away, then obviously... Uh, the lower the looks will be. So I'll just highlight that. So we've got that's for point A and that's for point B. And that's how you work out uh, the cosine square law. Hope you've uh, found this useful.